Inventing Teflon The man who accidentally invented Teflon was Dr. Roy Plunkett. After receiving his BA, MS, and eventually PhD in organic chemistry, Dr. Plunkett got a job with DuPont in Jackson, New Jersey. He was subsequently assigned to work on synthesizing various new forms of refrigerant, trying to find a non-toxic alternative to refrigerants like sulfur dioxide and ammonia. According to DuPont, in 1938, 27-year-old Dr. Plunkett and his assistant Jack Reebok were experimenting with one such potential alternative refrigerant, tetrafluoroethylene (TFE). Dr. Plunkett subsequently created around 100 pounds of TFE and stored the gas in small cylinders. On April 6, 1938, upon opening the valve on one of the supposedly full, pressurized cylinders of TFE that had previously been frozen, nothing came out, even though by its weight it seemed to be full. The two then decided to investigate further by cutting the cylinder open. Once they managed to get it open, they discovered that the TFE gas inside had polymerized into a waxy white powder, polyterafluoroethylene PTFE resin. Ever the scientist, Plunkett then proceeded to run tests on this new substance to see if it had any unique or useful properties. Four of the most important properties of this substance discovered were that it was extremely slippery, one of the slipperiest substances known to man, non-corrosive, chemically stable, and that it had an extremely high melting point. These properties were deemed interesting enough that the study of the substance was transferred to DuPont's Central Research Department and assigned to chemists that had special experience in polymer research and development, while Dr. Plunkett was then promoted and transferred to a separate division that produced tetraethyl, used to boost gasoline octane levels. Three years later, the process and name of Teflon were patented and trademarked. Four years after that, Teflon began being sold, initially only used for various industrial and military applications due to the expense of producing TF. By the 1960s, various forms of Teflon were being used in a variety of applications, such as stain repellent in fabrics, electrical wire insulation, and the like. It was also in the 1960s that Teflon began being used in its most publicly known application, as a coating for nonstick pans. Today, Teflon or other brands of the same product are also used in windshield wipers, carpets and furniture as stain repellent, light bulbs, coating on glasses, in various hair products, used in semiconductor manufacturing, automotive lubricants, igniters for solid fuel rocket propellants, and in infrared decoy flares, among other things. Bonus Facts Dr. Plunkett's roommate in college, Paul Flurry, went on to win the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1974. Bonus Fact 2 The Guinness Book of World Records once listed Teflon as the slipperiest substance in existence. This has since been shown to be incorrect, actually being the third slipperiest substance, although it is still the only known substance that a gecko's feet cannot stick to because of Teflon's resistance to van der Waals forces. Van der Waals forces are the sum of the attractive and repulsive forces between molecules. Bonus Fact 3 Molecularly, Teflon is one of the largest molecules known to man and consists of carbon and fluorine. Each carbon atom has two fluorine atoms attached. It turns out, when fluorine is part of a molecule, it actually repels other matter. The bond between the fluorine and carbon is also extremely strong, which makes Teflon very non-reactive to other chemicals, which is why it was used in the Manhattan Project as a coating for the valves and seals of the containers holding the extremely reactive uranium hexafluoride. Bonus Fact 4 Dr. Plunkett retired from DuPont in 1975 and was inducted into the Plastics Hall of Fame in 1973 and eventually into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in 1985. He died on May 12, 1994. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.